Hello everyone, this is Cancer from VampireRave.com. I wanted to do a short video showing the progress I've made thus far on the new website. So I'm here at the, here at the test website, and uh, we're in the last week of August, and I really thought I'd be a lot further along than I am now, and I, I hit some roadblocks. I hit some sections that took a lot more time to update than I thought they would, and I'm going to go over that in this video. Um, and I've created some new sections too. So we're here at the website, and if you could scroll down to the bottom, the footer, here's our, here's our new footer, and it's this new section, Report a Bug. And uh, what this section does is it allows users to bring directly to my attention any website issues. It's a bug tracking system. Let's go over and take a look at it. It's pretty neat here. It shows, uh, well, first we got this drop down menu here. It shows you all the bug reports the open bug reports, the closed bug reports. This is historical. It saves them over time. Um, reports that I've submitted and reports and, and uh, that I've commented on. So, and pardon if, if it, the internet's a little bit slow here. I'm on my cell phone right here on my laptop as I'm doing this video. So the, the internet for me might be a little slow. It might be a little laggy. But if you go into it, here's, here's a it, well, first, let's create a new bug report. So as a user, you can go in, really simple, create a title, describe your issue. This is what makes a section neat. You can attach a, a JPEG or a, P, a PNG file, you know, a screenshot showing your issue. And if it's a similar issue, if it's linked to other reports that you're aware of, you can put those IDs in here to those other reports and link it up. You hit submit. I'm not going to submit it. I'm just going to, and then it shows up on this screen here. So let's say I just created a bug report. Here's a test one. And then your report is here. This is just some test text that I threw in here. Shows that it's open. You know, I created it. As comments are added to the bug report, it shows the updated status here. And it's really simple, you know, you can, and the great thing is you can also add attachments to the comments. Post a new report or, or post a new comment. Here's our bug report. Here's the comment I just did. Here's the attachment I just did. It's a vampire picture. So it's a great system. So through this, moving forward, users are going to be able to submit any issue with the site, anything that's not working correctly, I'll see it, I'll go in here, and I'll fix it. Um, now, it's tied in with the message center. So let's, uh, let me show you that. Let me log out. No, first I want to stay logged into this account. So let's go to the, the, let's go here. Here's a report I posted by my other account, my test account. So put in a comment here. So it shows the comment on my other account. Now let me log in to my other account. Okay. It shows I have new messages. I have a lot of new messages. But as comments are posted to your reports, the system tells you a new comment has been posted to bug report 26. And this is the new message center. I'll get into that and come back to this in a moment. But so you click it, brings it back to my report. And again, I'm logged in here as cancer120, cancer120. Um, and the new comment, the follow-up, maybe, you know, I fixed it, I closed it. If you reported it and this was your report, you would see all that information. It keeps you up to date on it. So that's the new uh, bug reporting system. I love it. It's very functional, very interactive, intuitive, easy screenshots, attachments. And some of these features, these new features, will eventually uh, be implemented throughout the website. The forum, you know, the, the, these attachment features, they're going to go to the forum and some of the other sections. So you're going to see these new features in other areas of the site. So this is the bug reporting system. It took me three days to write this, um, which actually is pretty good create a whole new section. But to get this working, I needed the message center working because this system 
interacts with the message center. And the message center took me eight days to update the new message center. So let's go over there and look at the new message center. So this is the new message center. Uh, now that it's done, I love it. It looks great on mobile. Uh, and that was the big challenge. You know, a lot of Vampire Rave is set up in columns you know the message the former message center the forum you know you have these long columns and those long columns don't show up well on mobile so that I needed to do a total redesign so let's bring this down to like a mobile size which is about 360 pixels yeah, that's close enough uh, let's bring this up you yeah, know it's probably about like that so this is how it would look like in mobile Ignore that. that this message up here at the top, I gotta fix that. That's that's not right. Your premium membership expires in negative seventeen thousand days. Ignore that. Uh, so on mobile, this is this is what your message center would look like, you know, and it, it, it looks good. You know, it's it's very very readable. Uh, back to full screen size. This control here. This is the new navigation. Your inbox, and your different boxes, sent and saved, etc shows you your total messages, your unread messages, really easy to navigate, jump to other boxes. Um, when you have system messages, they're gonna look like this now with the, the VR logo and from Vampire Rave. And the different, the different options change, like you can't reply to a system message, so there's nothing here. I think I only have system messages in here. Oh, here's a message from myself to myself. So you can reply, you know, email it to yourself, it's very similar to the old system. The differences are, are visual, aesthetic, but it just it took a long time, it, a really long time for me to, to update this, but it, it's done now and it's, it's, it's looking great. So that's a new message center, compose a new message, real easy. Yeah, same functions as before. You can encrypt it if you want. If you don't want to encrypt it, send it off. And the other section I completed is this uh, update section. Let's take a look at this. So this is specifically for website updates. As I complete areas of the site, change areas of the site, update areas of the site, I will be put posting entries in here. So historically, you can track them over time. And also, when you log in, if there have been new website updates since your last login, they will show on your login screen. So like, let's say you last logged in on August 12th. Well, since August 12th, this entry on the 19th and the 22nd have happened, you'll see these two entries. It'll prompt you to come here and read everything if you want, but it's a way to keep everyone updated on what's going on. So that's all the changes I've made in the last two weeks. It definitely took me longer than I thought it would. Um, you can see going back to May 22nd is when I started all this. So it's been more than three months that I've been working on the new website now. It's not going fast, but I think, I hope that you can see from the way the site is and the way it's developing that it's a very professional, very high-end site. And th that's why these changes are taking so long. As for a timeline, it's really difficult for me to, at this point, to project when it's going to be open for beta testing. I thought we'd be open for beta testing by now, but it's just not done. There's so many sections I have to go through yet. There's some, some sections that are kind of judging from how long the message center took me. Sections like the profile section, the society section, they're going to take a long time. They're just going to take me a long time to go through and fix. You know, other sections like, you know, the contact us page, you know, the, the, these pages take 10 minutes to update and they're ready to go. But where there is a big site redesign you know like like the contact or like the message center and the profiles page is going to take me a lot of time the society pages are going to take me a lot of time um it's just it's just going to take me a lot of time i don't know how much longer it's going to take i'll keep you guys updated i'm working on this every day i know you want it out i want it out i hope to get it out in september all I can say is I'm working every day on it, guys. You know, some days I'm working 10, 10 to 12 hours now trying to get these updates done. Um, I can say that the message center, I logged over 100 hours just on that one section getting that done. So that's where I'm at, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. So that's it for this video. This is Cancer, and I'll see you on Vampire Rave.